Maybe I should explain, all of this is vacuum forming. All of the material is heated and then vacuum evacuates the trapped air. In some operations like this, we use a female mold and we pressure form it. So pressure forming allows you to get the look of an injection molded part without having to have super high volumes and allows us to add texture to our tool. The biggest benefit of thermoforming over injection molding is time to market. We can really get your product out the door quicker. Um, from time to the prototyping, it's only two weeks we can have something out the door. This part was metal. This part was converted from metal to plastic. This is the front of an ice machine. What we have done is we pull this into a female tool to get all of this definition. You see the part is smooth here and it's textured here. Then we flip it over and we cut these ribs open on our CNC machine. We actually go in and we weld this bracket on each side of this part. We do a lot of conversions because of the cost of metal, the cost of stainless steel, also the cost of finishing metal these days. This part was extruded gray, formed gray, and it's ready to go. All we need to do is put a pad print or a silk screen on the front of it to finish the decoration. This part's ready to go. When you think of thermoform plastics, the last thing you think about is a rug for a car. And as you can see here at CNK, we actually formed a carpet for a car manufacturer. The reason they vacuum formed this is so that it will fit in the front floorboard or the rear floorboard of a car. So we had um, a company that developed a new carpet system. It's uh, got a liner of LDPE 20,000 thick with a PETG fiber. Um, it's very lightweight and we, they came to us and asked us if we could thermoform it. And we said, probably not, but we'll give it a try. And it worked out very well. Um, this gets die cut and stitched, completely waterproof. And you can see it's not an EPDM. It's a uh, attractive carpet material. This is a large part made out of high density polyethylene. It's used in the drainage industry. Yes, we can get up to 12 feet. We do a variety of different things from the high density polyethylene parts that you just saw to parts like this drain pan made for air conditioning units made out of polycarbonate. Very rigid material, very durable material. This part is formed off of a male tool. Another thing we do here that we're really good at is returnable packaging. Everyone in the automotive world, no one wants packaging. No one wants cardboard, no one wants wood. We developed this tray in order to transport these transmission housings in fact, here it is with the transmission parts already in place. As you can see, they fit very nicely in here. Um, four of them go in here and then we ship it off and the customer has it for a long time until it gets damaged. Thermoforming takes an extruded sheet, anneals it to a zero stress state where it's just below its glass transition point, and then we thermoform it around a tool that's typically about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We do vacuum forming, pressure forming, and twin sheet forming, as well as plastic fabrication and some secondary operations. Wall thicknesses go anywhere here from about 80 thousandths thick to 780 thousandths thick, almost one inch thick. 